are watching Over the Back Fence, a conversation among neighbors. This is a production of Neighborhood Falmouth, and I'm Susan Laux. Today, our conversationalists include Jackie Pratt, Mary Pat McKenzie, Marion Bihari, and me. And this time, we're going to talk about something that's kind of super fun, I think. It is, what are your favorite things to buy at Trader Joe's? Mm. And, um, you know, Trader Joe's, it's such an unusual kind of store that it's got so many of its own products and different kinds of things that, um, you know, that I think we've all sort of found favorites there and understanding what other people's favorites are. So just in case I want to become your favorite uh, too, might be kind of fun. So um, who's going first? I'll go first. So I have two favorites. And when I go, I buy multiples of them because if it was across the street or down the block or in Falmouth, I wouldn't do that. But I don't always go there. So the first thing that I've been using probably for many, many years is their white vinegar. It's in a tall glass bottle, and it used to be prominent right at the, the, you know, the face level. But when they made this store bigger, which was a couple of years ago, they proceeded to put it on the bottom shelf. So if you don't know about it, you won't look there. But it, and it's very tall and narrow, and it is the best white vinegar, and I use it in my salad. Uh, and I use it with oil and whatever. So the last time we were there, I bought six bottles. And I must, no, really. And I must tell you that it's only $2.99 a bottle. So that's, you know, so. And I, it's, it's plain, it's white vinegar. It's, it's actually produced in Italy. And um, oh. I sometimes use it without oil. That's how much I like it. It's not balsamic, it's plain white vinegar. And I eat a salad every night, so most of the time I eat this. And then the other thing that I buy in bulk is their almonds. And they have almonds that mm. are not completely salted, but 50% less salted. And nobody else has that. So when I go, I bought, buy four or five bags of the almonds. And, but I must say, you know, you can get the almonds other places, not as good, but no one has this white vinegar. So those are the two, th I mean, there are many other things that I buy there, but these are the two staples that I use from Trader Joe's. Now, the thing with the almonds was I was talking with someone not too long ago and they were saying, maybe they were saying this about almond milk, that it takes so many almonds to mm -hmm. almond milk and it takes so much water to grow an almond tree that they sort of felt like almonds were environmentally you know they were requiring a lot of resources to make almonds and so I've sort of been feeling like you know what I shouldn't be getting almonds anymore you know I mean certainly there are places in the world that probably have exactly the right growing condition for almonds and that's how they exist. But, um, but California almonds, for example, you know, it just, I don't know. I, that's something I heard. Has anybody else heard that before? Yeah. Yes. You have, um, what, what did you I, hear, Jackie? Well, the thing is National Geographic sends me a newsletter. I didn't ask for it. I don't, I think somebody probably sent it to me. But um, the thing is that, and I, I love National Geo, but I, I stopped my my subscription a while back. So I, I, I read the newsletter and they were talking about almonds as being one of the prime, you know, sort of targets because for, for sort of looking at environmentally because of the fact that they, they take, California almonds take so much water. Um, and, and you know, hmm. It's tough right. because the thing is, so many foods that I like are, are environmentally unfriendly. So, yeah. yeah. Well, I didn't mean to mm -hmm. like tell you something uh, guilty about Debbie Downer. Thank you. 
<laughs> your favorite food is something that's environmentally inappropriate. Yeah. Um, um, I, like, I like that white vinegar. Well, Jackie, go ahead. What What do you well, like? I, it's like it's like even the even even many meats are considered really environmentally unfriendly. Oh yeah, hamburger out. Yeah. Oh yeah. 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 And I I try not to eat red meat. I probably eat red meat twice a year. Oh and wow! So wow, that's impressive. Mm. That's no, really yeah. helping to save the planet. Well, as long as sugar is not a problem, I'm okay. <laughs> <laughs> I think we're okay. I think you're okay. I the thing is that that when I, that I want I want I'm not good. It's like do I have to do I really have to give it up? I, I don't want to. <laughs> um, because I, I really, I, I really miss it um, a lot. But I, you know, the thing is that I, what I'm trying to do is, is avoid cholesterol medication. And there are, there are other things I, I probably should give up more of. But red meat, red meat was, 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 was discreet, and I can do that. Um, I try, I, I really watch salt. I, you know, the, the, again, the, but I, the thing is, I really love almonds. I like, you know, just plain almonds. Yeah, they're wonderful. Yeah, and they're good for you. I mean, basically, they're good yeah. for you. Yeah, a lot of nuts are good for you. Mm -hmm. and, and they're kind of wicked, too. Uh, in a, but they're good fats. Yeah. But a bad fat. So, yeah, but it, the less salt one is, is, they're delicious. Yeah. And you can't find them everywhere. So that's the first thing I look for when you walk in the store, because the nut aisle is right on your right. It's right there. Right yeah. There, yeah. Um, my uh, my husband Kyle he it, he goes bananas if I buy any kind of thing that's not salted and he'll start oh. eating because he loves salt it's just like shake more on comes fully salted and you shake and then, you know I'll put something in his mouth and they'll be like ah there's no salt on this you know and it's like oh poor you you know and uh, <laughs> anyways. Yeah, I hope he never never has heart disease because that's the first thing yeah. they tell you to stop eating. Oh, yeah, you know, me too. His people are. <clears throat> he comes from Southern stock, and they long lived. They live on you know meat and fats and blah blah blah. He's a great cook, and he you know salt. Knock knock on wood that none of these things will get him. So who else about Trader Joe's? Uh, well, my favorites my absolute go-tos there, and I stock the freezer with them, are one, the frozen almond croissants. The oh. mini croissants are good too, but the frozen almond croissants are just to die for. And really? they come in a box of four, so you could like maybe just put two in the oven, but you know, why would you do that when you can- Why not do all four? four. Yeah. <laughs> So I kind of keep one shelf in the big deep freezer in the garage empty for Trader Joe's. The other thing is macarons. I oh. love macarons. And there's almost no calories in macarons because it's egg whites. It's like, there's nothing so to that. There's so no, true. I don't know if it has salt. I mean, really, I have no clue. And but there's filling. The filling has a lot of sugar. Yeah. Yeah, that's yes, true. but sugar is not an endangered species. <laughs> Just Correct. Right. Exactly. Correct. And we're only thinking about the environment today. Right. Okay. Right. Um, not your heart. Jackie, Those I would say also, if you hear something that you want any and one of us to get for you the next time we yes, just tell it, us. Let yeah. us know because we'll, you know, maybe yeah. we'll each buy one of our favorite things and send them over to you. And yeah, you can, you can try them out. out. Well. Provided Our you don't open the package in the car driving back from right, <laughs> and it doesn't last, and yeah, they are they are those are my two favorite, absolute favorite things. My husband has other favorites. My kids have other favorites. I need the macarons and almond croissants. Okay, um, okay, I'm going next. So you know why do we do this kind? I mean, I would not say this is immediately before a meal or anything like that, you know. But it's still, I'm ready to like dive in. Okay, my current favorite, so wacky, but it's they're these frozen veggie burgers, and they're called Indian masala, no masala burger or something like that, or Indian masala, mm. and it's 
delicious. They come in a bright green box and they're with all the other uh, frozen, um, you know, veggie patty kind of thing. And they're really, really nice. They, they do a variety of sort of veggie patties and there's one that's a Thai spice, red Thai spice or something. And that's okay, but these um, vegetable masala ones, it's got potatoes, it's got a little, it's got some potatoes, it's got corn, it's got, um, I mean, they're, but they're thin and, you know, um, and um, peas and a few other things. And they, and the spice is just right. And I make a couple up for breakfast and I'm really oh. full and they're like ah. 130 calories or something. And so, I eat a few of those and they're, I'm really full, but I also feel somewhat virtuous because they're just, they're really, really good. Yeah. I have a question. What kind of spices are in them? Is it like cumin and things like that? I'll have to tell you. I don't know. I, th I think it's turmeric. I've had them, but I think it's turmeric and cumin and I'm not sure what else. I don't eat cumin, so I, I wrote it down. I've been writing down it, what everybody's. Um, you know, cumin is, is cumin a pretty basic Indian spice? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Or coriander yeah. or something like that. Right. I don't eat coriander Indian Coriander and cumin are related. The coriander. Yeah, you're right. One is the, and then you grind it and you get. It cumin. becomes, yeah, yeah, yeah. So probably, but, and, and there's a little bit of red pepper in there too. Um, the vegetable, not the spice. Right. Um, yeah, definitely worth trying. And um, there are a bunch of things that I like. I mean, you know, like their fruits and veggies, you know, are also inexpensive. Right. Non bread there, which is so great. Frozen nons. And the, you know, they're so puffy and just like you pop those things down and they're kind of huge, but they still. I have a total All air. For bread. They're not they're non-caloric because it's air. Completely, right. completely. Yeah, I have a big bread thing. And they have delicious sourdough bread that we get that's you know inexpensive too. Um, but you know what is the most wicked, but they don't have it all year round, is the um the I forget what they're called, like candy cane joes or candy they're um they're chocolate covered, they're at Christmas time and they're chocolate covered Oreos that have um, candy cane kind of filling in them. Yes. And they're just like, I mean, you just walk past them and you get like a sugar high you've not had before. You pop a few of those things and you are flying, flying. So good, so, so good. I think I'm going down the wrong aisle. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or maybe maybe you're doing a smart thing. Yeah. Maybe you're going down the right one, but <laughs> exactly. exactly. Yeah, I, I'm. Yeah, right. I'm oh, probably. You know what else they have that's really nice is these um sort of vacuum packs of um ravioli, like oh. arugula yeah. and like lemon peel and arugula or mushroom ravioli. So it's like that four or five different. Uh, flavors yeah. and those are just great and it's just like oh let's get one let's get two let's get one of each let's yeah. you know, blah, 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 blah. and it's the whole thing the Trader Joe's thing like you run in to get four or five things and you get right. 105 things you know yeah, yeah. So. Car and, is your, full. and your your bill is a hundred dollars as well yes. I absolutely easy. yeah Mike and I went to uh Gillette Stadium to get our vaccinations there's a Trader Joe's there so after we had our vaccination, we said, oh, let's go over there. And I said, I only need a couple of things, one of them being my vinegar. Well, we walked in and a hundred dollars later, we walked yeah, out nobody. with we walked out with bags, bags of stuff. Nobody walks out with just vinegar. No. 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 If, whatever their formula is, it's genius. Right. I mean, here we are talking, everybody has like their favorite thing. Right. Go get that first. And then they just keep walking around. The cart. <laughs> they also have beautiful plants and flowers yes. Yes. at a wonderful price. And yeah. um, sometimes I've already bought a plant before and I walk in and oh my God, why didn't I buy it here? You know, they have really beautiful gardening things. So.
Yeah, my, my son actually, my birthday was in April and he wanted to give me a big pot of orchids. And um, so he did what I, I was surprised. He got the bowl at Home Goods and then he went to um, Trader Joe's and bought four separate uh, orchids wow. and put them in the bowl with mossy stuff on top. And, um, and it, it, you know, in a, anywhere else, that would have been $150. Oh, absolutely. You know, so it was. What a clever idea. I, I was impressed, actually. Yes, very impressed. Obviously, he was listening to me all these years when I had to do church flowers. <laughs> but that's a, that was a great idea. Yeah, yeah, it, because their flowers are gorgeous. There's no yes. question about it. At where? At Trader, At Trader Joe's. Trader Joe's. flowers? Oh, Beautiful. Yeah. When you first do. Of course. Yeah, when you yeah, first walk, walk in. You can't get into the yeah. store without walking by. That's right. Now, I want to make sure, Jackie, you had told us what was on your favorites list. Um, actually, you covered some of them. We, we, my daughter and I got into the veggie burgers. Um, she was diagnosed with high cholesterol at 18. And, oh. um, and her, well, her dad had, had, there was a family history there. So, um, and so she changed her diet radically. And one of the things she got into was veggie burgers. And we tried, we tried all kinds of veggie burgers. And, but we, we, we got hooked on the, the Trader Joe's. So I probably had every flavor. You know? <laughs> and, and I, I, I've got to admit that, that I, I, there are, there are, there are, are veggie burgers that I prefer to hamburgers. Um, mm, yeah. I agree. And, yeah. And not, I also like, I also like turkey. They, they may, they have a store made turkey burger. that's really thick mm. and, and, that, and it seems like it's sheer laziness not to just get the ground turkey, but they, so I never managed to get anything but really thin, miserable looking. Right. Mm -hmm. you know? And they, theirs are gorgeous and they're ready to go. So um, I, 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 as you guys were talking, um, you know, the thing is when I, man, when I managed the sober house um, for, for five years, on on Saturdays, I would I had a I had a deal with the, uh, the one of the local independent cabbies, and he, he had a van, and we'd throw everybody in the van and go to Stop and Shop, or Shaw's, because it, but the thing is on their own the residents would there, there were two or three people who had cars, and they would they would trade off and they'd make a, they'd make once once every month probably. They'd make it. They'd make a Trader Joe run. Right. I remember we, we had this one woman who really liked their yogurt, and she, I'd cut me. There'd be big fights because the whole bottom of the refrigerator would be yogurt. Oh yeah. <laughs> you know, and uh, but um, right. it just it was you know the thing is that that and I I would I would give, I would give them my list when they were going and, and that worked you know but um. I, 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 and I, I, I told you that for a while there, the, the service center had Trader Joe stuff that, that, that would pop up, which was nice. Yeah. It's interesting that the taste is so distinctive, that yeah. we have all found something that we really like. Right. And that it's not available in other stores. No. Well, and you know, the thing is, it's just, it's, you know, there's so much stuff there that, I mean, I, I have not tried, of course, you know, 90% yeah. of what they sell there. Right. Because, you know, you pick a few things that you like. Right. But, you know, and, and Kyle, there's some chips there. He loves some salt and pepper. Right. You know, rip, ripple chips. I feel you know. like a little kid at Toys R Us when I go there. Oh, yeah, yeah totally. Totally. You and know, it like things look so appealing. And, you know, the yeah. wine is cheap and the beer is cheap. Yeah. Right. And they also have marinated artichokes oh, nice. that are delicious. Um, Is it a jar and, or a can? Yeah, they're in a jar and uh, they're expensive. So we buy one or two jars. And then after we finish the second one, I keep saying, why didn't we buy four or five? Uh, but <laughs> yeah, 
That's delicious. And it's, you know, it's really not that far away, but it just seems like a project to get over there. And it's that parking lot is Awful. the worst. Yeah. Yeah. Awful. And, and they've had long lines too. Yes. Right. I went there one day um, during the pandemic and it was early in the morning and I got there for the eight to nine and there were probably at least 15 people in front of me and they wouldn't let you in until somebody else walked out. Right. Yeah. Yeah. They were very so, strict. Very strict. So when I finally got in and blah, 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 blah. And then when I left, uh, regular customers who are not seniors went in. There must have been 30 people in line. Yeah. Yeah. They also have one by the Talbot's outlet in Hanover. So in the winter, a friend yes. and I were yes. there. And, um, and it, we, we were the first ones at Talbot's and got what we were get, get, went for and came out. It was like, oh, there's no line. They share a parking lot with, with um, Trader Joe's. So we went in there and that's a huge store. And there were like maybe three other people, but it was early in the day. Right. Nice. Anytime I'm on route three coming down, we always stop and handle them. Yeah. Yeah. And you remind me just, this has nothing to do with Trader Joe's, but I found a Talbot outlet at the, the Wareham mall. That oh yeah. The, um, yeah. I had no idea that was there. And then like that's, their stuff was cheap. Mm -hmm. it was, it's in the where and mall where? You no, know, where the Home Depot is uh, and the low, no, it's Lowe's. It's Lowe's and the Target. Yeah. Oh, over there. Oh, so, they so opened you go up, up a 95 and take yeah, the I know where you were going to Providence. Oh, they put a Talbot's there? I didn't yeah. know that. Talbot's yeah. outlet. 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 Well, maybe because there's a regular Talbot's and an outlet side by side. I can't remember. Because land, not Lance and... Is it Land's End? No, it's, uh, yeah, it's, it's L.L. Bean. Bean. No, no, L.L. Bean is there. Yeah, not Land's End. Yeah, they have an outlet store there as well. Yeah. I guess that's our next topic is where we go for <laughs> outlet shopping. Out, outlet shopping. <laughs> and then we really come alive when it talks about food and shopping. Right. So, all right. Well, there's lots more, I'm sure, we, you know, we should probably you know, get in touch with the Trader Joe's people and like, let them know we've done this recording right. and then yes. pay us off and give us all deep yeah. certificates and <laughs> then everyone will think we're in the, you know, the machinery of the Trader Joe right. corporate machinery or something. Maybe they'll give me a free bottle of vinegar. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Uh, and um, we, I, should, we should probably give, give at least a, a, a a thumbs up to, to, uh, to windfall and the nice variety. That they oh, have. yes. Yes, absolutely. absolutely. But the price, the price range is entirely different. Right. Absolutely. And, and they're fresh. I mean, for croissants, they're fresh. They're already baked. So the convenience of frozen ones is you don't have to get in the car and drive down there in the morning to get the croissant. Right. 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 Yeah. Oh, my gosh. And, you know, Marion, if you're looking for a Trader Joe's to donate to, to what did you say it was two dollars and fifty cents? Two two ninety nine. Okay, you, you can aim your sights a little higher, don't you think? Well, but it just tastes so good right. that, and you know, they also have next to it they have balsamic vinegar and things like that. But you have to look all the way at the bottom. That, yeah. Oh, they <laughs> dried fruit. Sorry, just made me. Yeah, oh, that's right. right. They dried, 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 dried fruit. fruit is very good. That could yeah, yeah. Kill you if you eat too much of that. Okay, well, I guess we all need to go soon. Okay, we need to go. All right, we're wrapping this up. Thanks so much for joining us. This has been Over the Back Fence, a conversation among neighbors. And this is a production of Neighborhood Falmouth. We hope you'll join us sometime. And thanks for coming today. Bye-bye.